you could see the difference in his whole approach towards his athletics. He took it far more seriously. When you go to the track, it's business, it's work, it's wanting to achieve a goal. And he then started backing it up with performances. He was also focused now on able-bodied races. He would never neglect competing in Paralympic sport, but he really was now driven towards making London 2012. So we were looking at races and opportunities where we could get him to achieve his qualification time. Abbiamo deciso di seguirlo tutti assieme. È stata un'occasione perché era anche vicino a Gemona, quindi in 100 km insomma saremmo arrivati. Oscar era caricatissimo, doveva veramente dare tutto per poter ottenere, eh, per poter sperare di ottenere il minimo. In tre proprio Oscar Pistello. Torres però viene su fortissimo proprio in questa curva, molto molto forte, deve fare che il 45-25 a Padova non si era espresso granché, ma non era serata ideale, forse anche la pista. Lui proprio nel finale ha, fatto un, ha avuto un crescendo incredibile. E questo cronometro quando si è fermato a questo 45-07. Bastava andare sotto i 45-25 la federazione sudafricana, ma per fare lo sport eh, non con i paralimpici, con gli olimpici. It was euphoria, the celebration between him and his training partner, hugging each other, falling over on the track and just being overjoyed of, of knowing that he's achieved that qualification time. E fu una cosa insomma bellissima, indescrivibile. In quel momento eravamo noi la sua famiglia, noi eravamo orgogliosi di essere la sua famiglia e lui ci ha ricambiato con questo risultato che resta ancora nel cuore di tutti. Soddisfazione immensa, ha fatto davvero notizia e queste immagini e anche altre hanno fatto il giro del mondo grazie alle cosiddette veline internazionali. His career was his whole life. So when we started dating, every single day that we spent together was, you know, he had to eat right, he had to train, he really got involved. Uh, there was a period of the year where training was very hectic. So I knew the pressure he had on him. He always wanted to prove something. He's now made the Olympics and he wants to prove to the world that He's worth it and he's not different to anyone else. I'm not going to qualify for London and then arrive there and do my, you know, a jog victory lap and say like, wow, this is an awesome opportunity to be here. You know, once you're at the Olympics, um, you try to get as far as uh, you can in the competition. It's the biggest event of your entire life and you've got the whole world watching you and you know that you have to now perform. And his thoughts were, am I going to be able to? That's when it became a problem. He was so stressed most of the time that his mind was just running. He just didn't know how to, how to control it anymore. Nel 2012, quando l'ho rivisto a Mangemona in giugno, non vedevo l'ora appunto che iniziasse la stagione ed ero curiosa di sapere come sarebbe andata. All'inizio era la stessa persona, lo stesso Oscar di sempre, ma man mano che l'estate proseguiva aveva iniziato a chiudersi un po' di più come persona. Ha costruito un po' un muro, si è un po' chiuso in se stesso, eh, sia riguardo proprio alla gestione della, della giornata. Era più focalizzata sugli allenamenti, era proprio concentrato nella preparazione per Londra. 
The difference that I saw in 2012 was pressure. The fact that he based himself in Italy, I think that meant that the external pressure of the world was kind of off him. But what I think that that did do was heighten the internal pressure that he put on himself. And I think he was just scared of almost letting himself down with his performances. I took my family in Italy more than a month for preparation for London. And Oscar was alone in his room. He's got his TV and he's got everything there, but Oscar is training, eating, and in his room. And my wife said to me, this is not normal. Ampi was really good in talking him out of it. We always had a joke, um, Piet and myself, and Piet would just say, oh, I'll send Ampi to sort Oscar out again, you know? And I, I actually do think that sometimes people play to his emotional side to get a result. Because when he's there, he goes into this hole and he's focused. It was the moment that he was going to make or break. That was so scary for him. What if he comes last? What's going to happen then? What's going to happen to his reputation? Now to history in the sports world. The South African sprinter known as the Blade Runner has shattered another Oscar barrier. Pistorius is heading to has London become as the, the first amputee to be included in the nation's squad. Getting set for Olympic history, Oscar Pistorius prepares for the latest chapter of one of sport's most remarkable stories. The fact that he was going to be on the same track as able-bodied athletes, we were saying, shows the fighting spirit and the resilience of South Africans. His breakthrough was our breakthrough. He was our international icon. Um, and for him to be on the greatest stage of the lot, the Olympic Games, was a hugely telling moment.